Okay, folks, so in this video, I'm going to discuss the topic of scientific or standard notation. Now, this is a method that we use in maths and in science to essentially write really, really, really big or really, really, really small numbers in a way that we can read easily. Okay, it's fairly straightforward. Um, it's only a couple of things you need to remember, and you will then be able to do these questions, okay? So, the first thing you want to do is the complicated mathsy bit, but we'll get back to what that means in a second. So, all scientific notation is in the form A by 10 to the power of N, where A is greater than or equal to 1 or less than 10, okay? And N is an element of the set Z, so it's an integer, meaning it's a whole positive or negative number. Now, what does that mean? Well, it's pretty straightforward, okay? I'm going to just go through a few times to show you how we write something in scientific notation so we can see what that means. So, let's say I've got the number here, okay? Uh, so, we got this number here. What's it? Three and a half billion or something, okay? So, if I want to write this number in scientific notation, I basically move my decimal point. Okay, so my decimal point is here, and I want to move it until it's right after the first number. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, it becomes 3.5. Is 3.5 between 1 and 10? Yes, yeah, so that's what this bit means. A is between 1 and 10. Greater than or equal to 1, less than 10. 3.5 is between 1 and 10. Times... 10 to the power of n is an integer. What is n? n is the number of places I had to move my decimal. So 10 to the power of 9. That's it. It is that simple. Let's look at another example. So 12 million. First thing I do, put in your decimal point. Next thing I do, move the decimal point until it's just before, sorry, just after the first number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? Now I want to again do this to one decimal place. So my two, because this number is greater than or equal to five, rounds up to a three. By 10 to the power of, I move it seven times, 10 to the seven. So. 12,700,000 in scientific notation to one decimal point would round off to 1.3 by 10 to the 7. If it was two decimal places, it would be 1.27 by 10 to the 7. The 7 doesn't change, even if I've got two numbers here, because I still move the decimal seven places to get it between the 1 and the 2. The only thing that changes here is one decimal place, this 7 changes this, rounding it up to a 3, two decimal places, the 2 stays where it is, because the number after the 7 is a 0. Okay, so that is the first way to do scientific notation. The other way is if I have a really, really tiny number. Okay, so we've got some of this. 0 0.0000000052. Okay, same thing again. We move the decimal until it's after this, our first number, our first non-zero number. Okay, if we're changing a really really small decimal to a whole to a larger number you're moving the decimal until it's just after your first non-zero whole number one two three four five six seven eight nine five point two by ten to the now you might think ten to the nine but no this time we are going right how we demonstrate that we're going right is a minus in front of our power so it's 10 to the minus 9 okay so if it's going left our power is positive if it's going right our power is negative so let's look at another example i said non-zero whole number first non-zero whole number okay so Moving the decimal, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if I want this to be one decimal place, 4 point, not 0, because this 7 changes this 0 to 1 by 
10 to the, and it was 5 places, wasn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 5. If I wanted it to 2 decimal places, it would be 4.07 by 10 to the minus 5. If I wanted it to 3 decimal places, it would be 4.071 by 10 to the minus 5. Doesn't matter whether it's 1, 2, or 3 decimal places, all these numbers are still between 1 and 10. And that is scientific notation, folks. Making a really big number really small, count the number of decimals until you get just before, just, just here before our first number. And however many decimals it was that you moved it, it's that, that power. If you're making a really small decimal big, same thing again, only it's a minus power. Now let's say I have a sum that I want to do, okay? How do we do sums? So let's say I got three. I'm just making this up. But how do we do this? It's simple. You use your calculator. There is a scientific notation button on the calculator. And that's this button here. So, if I was doing this sum on my calculator, very straightforward. Hit my fraction button. Okay? So, we have 3.2 by 10 to the 5. Plus 5.2 by 10 to the 7. Bring the cursor down over 2.1 by 10 to the 6 boom and there's your answer okay 8.7 872 over 35 let's look at another example okay um actually i'll make that smaller oh, 10 to the 6 10 to the 4 okay so this time we're multiplying 2.43 by 10 to the 4 times, sorry, so you can see my calculator, 5.1 by 10 to the 2 equals. And they give my number here in its normal or decimal form. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 9, 3, 0, 0, 0, or 12,393,000. Now, if I wanted to give that in scientific notation, same as before, moving my decimals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1.2 by 10 to the 7. So that is how you do these questions. You just use your calculator. Okay? So I hope this helps straighten things up for you all. If you have any questions, ask me in class, send me an email or a comment on Google Classroom. Otherwise, keep up the good work and I shall talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.